Can you all hear me now? Yes. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. You all talk? Hello. Meow. Test. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello, governor. Oh, no. Wait. Can I not hear you guys now? Oh, gosh. You gotta be joking. <laughs> all right, Kelsa. You won't hear oh, no. our screams as we die. <laughs> we can hear each other. Okay, I accidentally, I'm muted my, sorry. I accidentally muted my... I accidentally muted my own headphones. <laughs> okay. Everything's good. Progress. I knew if we were getting started right on time, there was no way it was going to work perfectly. I should have... Uh... You always need to delay it 10 minutes to check everything. <laughs> exactly. All right. Blame Windows update. Uh, where was I? Yes. Welcome to Band of Blades. We're playing <laughs> Blades in the Dark. Uh, it's a hack of uh, it's a hack of Blades in the Dark, I should say. Uh, this was all flawless the first time. Uh, yeah, your intro was real smooth. <laughs> uh, other than the fact it was muted. So uh, as I had done initially, I'd like to kick it over to Strash, who is also the author of this game and the GM of our game. So, hey, how's it been? Well, it's been busy, but um, I think that's like become, I, I feel like a broken record. I say that all the time because uh, <laughs> that's my life these days. But I do have some rad news for anybody that's watching, which is assuming you're watching live or close to this date, hopefully between today and next game, Band of Blades should be released to backers of uh, Blades in the Dark and also go up on Drive Through RPG. So assuming that there isn't a catastrophic problem of some sort, uh, that is the plan, that is my hope, and that is what I'm working towards, and I'm pretty excited about that. I'm also excited about this game, because I have no idea how you guys are going to get out of the game <laughs> we were in last time. So. Oh boy, we are we are in a bad spot. Uh, <laughs> That's a terrible segue. Uh, ignore everything that was just said. <laughs> uh, let's go to Jinja, how you doing? It's been a couple <laughs> weeks. I don't want to know what that segue was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about people in terrible situations, and then I was like, I don't want to throw it to anybody. That's mean. <laughs> I'm, I feel great. Uh, I haven't gotten hurt yet, so I feel great. Uh, I'm Extras Ginger Ninja. Uh, I run a gaming channel. I plan on my gaming's channel on Wednesdays for uh, City of Mist. Um, and I'm super pumped to be back. Uh, I feel great about standing out on this rock keeping, uh, keeping watch. My new, uh, what's her name again? Uh, the chick that I'm with who's scary and tall uh i don't know that we've exchanged names but uh her name is akara ryota and she is mm -hmm. a dar heavy yeah. i'm gonna call her uh tall scary lady uh, <laughs> and I are getting along just famously yeah. and i'm pumped to uh to keep playing ram's a fan magical uh, magical friendship <laughs> nope. um um i'm looking forward to surviving uh with her help <laughs> Uh, thinking about uh, her help and friendship, uh, let's talk to Alice. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well, actually. Uh, uh, Kiss Before the World Ends is going to get a playtest next month. Woo! Like that's scheduled. Um, I also wrote a game this morning. That's mm. also a thing. Um, there's a thing called a 200 world RP or 200 word RPG. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did the thing without knowing it was like an actual submittable like contest thing. I just thought it would be fun. And <laughs> nice. so I I it did I did it. It's a thing. I tweeted it. I submitted it. It's all it's all a thing that exists. So yeah, awesome. that's that's I guess the biggest thing that happened in my life recently. I'm also learning how to play the guitar. That's also a big deal. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thinking about someone with a guitar behind them. <laughs> How are you doing, Eric? Segway. <laughs> Yay. Hi, everybody. I'm Eric. Eric Fulgaris. Uh, I also do a lot of role-playing games online. Uh, so production, graphic arts, you name it, I'm doing it. I'm also back into my tabletop design stuff. So um, I think I've seen those 200 word RPG designs go up over there. I've read Alice's game, which was super cool. Thanks. Um, so uh, yeah. I've been playing around with making a, a World of Dis, which is a uh, Planar Codex World of Dungeons Breakers game. Made a character sheet for it. Uh, Getting ready to play, that, play test that stuff so it's ready to go for go play. Sweet. 
Uh, that sounds awesome. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to playing all of the games at Go Play. Um, I'm very excited about that, and it's still like over a month away. So, uh, well, that's that's our cast here. Uh, we are all playing some members of a military company fending off undead. Uh, or trying to. Um, Strash, would you, you be so kind as to recap our, our current uh, somewhat desperate situation? Yeah, so um, uh, last time, uh, one of the missions that came up was um, there was a medic uh, and her bodyguard were currently uh, trapped inside a holy site uh, by a small but significant force of undead, about a uh, hundred of them. And um, uh, you guys uh, decided to go and, and, and break the siege, as it were, and rescue them and try and get them out. And there was a, uh, I guess I'm going to call it a somewhat foolhardy plan, where you decided that the best way to do this would be to grind through the enemy force clamber a wall and join the people that are already entrenched inside the the holy site which you did and one of the things uh, although it, people people got hurt and things got wrecked pretty bad but um the enemies are renders troops which means that they are are very strong they're led by uh, a seven and change foot tall undead with a hole in his chest with a head stuck in it that whispers uh Cicerations that people can hear. Um, and uh, there's some like knights, knights of the oak are there, and like a bunch of other undead, and you guys are, are pinned. Uh, but you discovered that this holy site contains a relic from a previous incarnation of uh, Ostara, which it, your chosen Alana is tied to. And if the undead get it, they'll be able to actually like influence Alana and like break down her power in some fashion. So you know that you need to not. I mean, you can rescue these people, but hopefully you'll rescue the the artifact, the relic that that you're also trying to extract and get past enemy lines. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So I believe that that's where we're at. Oh boy, that's that's a good place to be. Uh, except not not really. Uh, I seem to remember that um, we had all just just made it up, and we were having like kind of a a moment of. Of peace per se, and then Alice, you're muted. I was like, I don't, I don't remember ending on peace. I remember no, no, the dude. On. Oh, okay. okay. I was gonna say we were all ex inside of like this temple, except for Ram and um, someone. Goat. No, was it Farah? Oh, uh, Farah, yes. No, Farah was outside with the uh, the tall, scary lady. Ah, it was Farah and the tall, scary she kept lady. Watch. That's it. Two people keeping watch, then, like, an arrow, just, like, and then you see the guy just, like, ripping through the barricades at inhuman speed, and we're like, oh, f we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember him taking a giant sword to a rock wall, and it working. Yeah. So. Bit of a problem. Yeah, it's, it's not an immediate solution, but uh, we'll definitely produce faster results than you guys have days. So yes. There's a clock and it's ticking. What do you find folks want to do? You have a little bit of time to come up with a plan on how to GTFO. That's My, a good uh, question. I think that artifact is going to be our secret. How do you... Oh, is it? Well, uh, I mean, I, I still think, I, if I remember correctly, this is my plan last time. I think the plan this time is still have you channels up some freaking explosives and try to make a secondary exit. It's a very risky roll. Yes, but... <sighs> You'd really... You guys all want to put it on my back? Is that I mean, really what you want to do with my luck with dice? dice that... have to carry the day, Eric. <laughs> I mean, I, I love the plan. Would you rather put it on our stress pools? Because those have no, 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 no. It's just, uh, it's just my, my, my own, my own uh, roll twenty dice luck is never. I believe never in something you, Eric. that <laughs> only break in case in of you. emergency. You know, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm. So, are we all, are we all cool with scrounging up explosives to basically blast a, a hole in the wall to get us out of here? I mean, worst worst case scenario, uh, maybe we can destroy. We don't 
the the artifact yeah. instead of letting it right. fall into their hands right the idea here that's that's just what i was thinking is like right now i'm thinking i don't actually have to scrounge at this moment like it's not integral like you know it's not like we need to we need this exactly right now Kind so what if we actually, figure out what this artifact is first? We already then, know what the artifact is. I know we, we know well, we don't know what it can do. Oh, I don't it. think that's our job right now, though. Uh I mean you can look at look, it. Right. You know, if it's a sacred basin full of holy water, you know, maybe we should try to drink it. Uh, you know what I mean? Like we don't know what it like it could be something very useful. It could be, you know, uh, super serum or something. Can I um, ask a uh, tall scary lady friend what it does? what what does the artifact oh um so the thing is that it, it's it's not a true so the phrase that you're using artifact is actually wrong Sorry. uh art, artifacts no 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 it's it, you the artifacts in this world are things that were tied to the chosen in one of their previous incarnations uh and usually have like a piece of their power imbued oh in. oh it's a horror crux uh but this is actually yes artifacts are essentially yeah. horror cruxes uh but uh what this is is actually like uh you've seen these before they're like pieces of bodies uh of previous chosen and uh the legion has no qualms about this and i'm not sure that and you folks can interpret this however you want but what it is is it's a piece of a body of a previous chosen which is what reliquaries are made of so all of you that can carry <laughs> reliquaries it's literally you grab bodies of ancient saints and chosen and then you chop them up and you drop them in alchemical oils and you carry them around and it helps ward you because there is no true magic in this world except things that are contained within bodies of the chosen and it's a way that humans cheat <laughs> so uh it's literally yeah. a piece of a previous incarnation yeah. of a star uh, meaning it's a useful piece of something for... consecrated yeah totally meaning yep. useful okay. for protecting us against say like magic or corruption yep. but not useful for killing an enemy cho like killing an yep. enemy also true. yeah Farrah doesn't know that though so Farrah's is asking like yeah, is, I, is there anything here we can use i think big yeah. scary lady just kind of uh like she's not the the you, you get the sense that maybe she's not super religious or maybe she just kind of scorns the gods uh mm -hmm. but yeah she just kind of like looks and goes Pfft. If that stuff would have made a difference, we would have been out of here already. Um, mm -hmm. Fair point, so, scary lady. Yeah. Uh, I I think uh, Ram says something along the lines of like, if you ask like, is there anything here we can use? She, uh, Ram says something along the lines of, uh, if there was something here of use, they would have used it by now. Not what if did they didn't know how to use it. To be fair, I don't take. Not all that. these people are fighters. I nod to her. I nod to the Dar Lady. I'm like, I don't take her as dumb. <laughs> she points at Vera and goes, "I like her." <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that's that sort of word. Like, I, I don't think the, the chosen body part. What is it? Just out of curiosity, just so I can. Uh, I think it's actually, um, yeah, just like this. I think it's actually the heart. Um, and like when you look at it it's in, in like a case and it's got like a bit of the rib cage and stuff like it's still around it and this heart like sits there in this this amber like substance and you can see that even though it's not attached to a body and there's no blood periodically it just yep 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 um but yeah like okay uh i uh... Look, it sounds like it's a good time, I guess, to do the uh, the channel's ability for some explosives. So I'd like to consort with our quartermaster to get some explosives. Sounds good. So we flash back to where you're preparing for this mission. Now, I have some bad news for you, Eric. Uh, you kind of need a fine item in order to get things like alchemicals. So you got to roll a six to pull this off. Yeah. If you were looking for, like, a horse or sure. a rope, we would see. But if you roll less than a six, we'll have to take a look. On a four to five, you'll have bad explosives that have problems that might be extra risky. On a one to three, you just couldn't get it. Okay. I believe in you. All right. Well, <laughs> slight pivot. You can would do it be this. Possible to scrounge for extra armor. To I can put ourselves in again. Sure, but we don't have the stress pool for that to be like. That's true. I mean, I'm literally maxed out as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it would be useful. I don't know. I'm just thinking of some other things before I roll dice. Okay. It doesn't look like it's going to help, so uh, I'm going to roll consort. 
Um, now pause. Remember that this is a flashback. Wait. So oh, why? I, 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 we know what's like, in. That... Uh, you can get some assists from people if they have some way of assisting you in bribing the quartermaster to provide you with better goods. Oh, yeah. Does somebody have anything they could use to bribe the quartermaster for better goods? Um, also, devil's bargains. Uh, none. What would Going you once. Do the barter? I mean, I don't think uh, that Red Flying Lotus as a rookie would, even yeah. if she had something that the um, quartermaster might want, I, I don't think that she would come forward and offer that. New uh, problem. Thera, are you a noble? Yes, that's what I was going to ask, because is there something as an orite that I could exchange? Yeah, bear in mind that orites, among other things, are a lot of the sources of the alchemical goods, and as a noble, you have additional supply and bribes that you can use, so that might give you an excuse to spend new, stress. New problem. Uh, as Strash said, this is a flashback. You're full in stress. There is? Are you no. talking to me? I only have two no. stress. No, go. Uh, uh, it's, it's fine. This is a mechanic that's part of the channel. Okay, I just I didn't know golden. if it counted. Yeah, it's there part we of the channel. Go. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Stressing. Uh, I will absolutely take the stress. And uh, if Goat had come to me and been like, where can I, you know, asked me before the mission, she would have been like, ah, yes. <laughs> Farah has wares. <laughs> uh, and absolutely would have helped. <laughs> uh, just, just for the sake of my own curiosity, uh, Farah, what kind of thing do you know that the Quartermaster may like that you would have bribed them with? Uh, really fine daggers oh, that have a, yeah. just like a good lineage too of killing like you know a good number of monsters out there so you found one yeah. and you've been saving it just for this occasion she's like well i really wanted to get myself you know what it's fine you take it just remember this <laughs> <laughs> all right three dice. three dice three dice let's see one of them's got to be a six nope we're going to go exactly as I said. On a four to five, you get the item, but something's off with it. So usually the quartermaster doesn't have spare satchel charges or like high-grade explosives to send on the mission. But there's a batch that's kind of... Mm, and so uh, that's that's what you get. You get a couple sa satchel charges, but the quartermaster warns you, like, don't use these unless there's nothing to be done. So uh, they're extra risky slash dangerous. That. Perfect. That, honestly, just what we needed. Yes, that works. That's fine. It's not good, but it works. I, we'll I, see. I, <laughs> I worry for whoever makes that wreck roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, let me check real quick. So we have our explosives. We still actually haven't secured the uh, the relic. Uh, we can I... say that. Uh, well, actually, as long as you can. Or is that a well, this is a question. How would you like to secure it? You basically just have to convince the people in the the little holy site that you're going to take it and keep it safe. Or how do you, how do you do that? Like how do you like? It's, it's obviously going to leave with you, but whether you get it at the end is a question. I mean, it's it's a finger, right? Like a heart. It's a rib cage. Oh, that's right. It's a heart. It's a heart. <laughs> that's right. Uh, it's my heart. heart's yeah in a cage. Okay. Um, is it beating just? just occasionally yeah, it, yeah yeah okay i totally yeah okay good um what did we tell them do we tell them the truth i think we should, i think we should probably tell them the truth like look truth is is that um they'll stop at nothing to get this because it could attack uh once again what was what's the the relic is originally whose no, a lot uh, like a, a star no, but, but a star a star a star thank you yeah, okay, alana is the chosen of a yeah star. it's the, the stars yeah you're right oh okay okay yeah uh because of its connection to our chosen um it can't we can't permit it to fall into enemy's hands and um the options is, is either we take it with us or we deny it to uh to the enemy 
So I, I'm not 100% sure what skill you're trying to roll here. Um, you're trying to convince a bunch of faithful that these are their only options. They should listen to you. So like, yeah. are you scaring them into outcomes with like discipline? Are you trying to consort with them? Like, hey, look, I'm a follower too. I mean, a star is the, the, are chosen, right? Like, you know, or, or are you like trying to are sway these, them? Are they innocent here? Are they? Um, it's where, a mix. Where... Basically what happened is there's a bunch of people that came who were just pilgrims that are hoping that the power of the deity will magically protect them. Um, and consequently when the siege started, they were just like, here's some pitchforks, do your best, sorry. Um, but uh, there's some people who are like shrine attendants. Uh, there is a couple of like soldiers that came here for healing purposes because there's a shrine to a healing god. Um, so it's, it's a mm. mix. I'm not sure that it matters to you, but I'm, I'm, it's, I wouldn't exactly label them innocent. I wouldn't exactly label them not. Right. Uh, the way I just was describing it, I guess I was trying to do sway. Give, I was trying to push them into an ultimatum. It's not right. a problem. Do you have sway? Uh, yeah, I have one in sway. All right. I'm about to say, say it that? sounded just as consorty too, if you wanted to go that way. Like, it's, the, the player gets to say. Yeah. I know. And I feel like Eric could have described a, a number of different things. So I'm not saying like, well, as, Obviously, explosives right. are a wreck roll, you yeah. know? Right. No. Um, no, based on it, I'm trying to give them the hard deal here and be like, look, sure. like, faith or not, uh, here's the... Cho <laughs> Actually, you know, let's let's go back to the, the, the no faith thing because this is... Um, man, I would, I, don't, I, would, I would definitely say something way more glib than what I would say, what I'm saying now, but it would be definitely something along, as, along the lines of, like, now, like, faith is no shield here uh, against these things might. Um, and to make it even worse, uh, this this relic being out here is pos could possibly fall into the hands of the enemy, and we just can't have that. To the, only, to, the to you know, against the one of the few things that is working, um, you're all welcome to come with us if you want protection. But you know, we're. We're not leaving here. We'll leave here without you. We're not leaving here without that heart. Let's put it that way. And, All right. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do. I think it's. I think it's this way. All right. Give it a roll. Yeah. Eric Dice. At the end, oh. there was like discipline. That sounds was, angry. No. Uh, but yeah. It's okay. So I'm maybe that's the thing. Go ahead. Well, actually, so here's the thing: is uh. Eric made a roll, and yeah. uh, I feel like it was. Well, actually, I, I know that you said it at risky, uh, but uh, I, I feel didn't like ask. Was, I thought it, I didn't know there was a, a, a position in effect. I thought you were just. I asking. felt, I felt like sorry. it was controlled. Oh. Um, okay. So here's the thing. Now you're in a risky position, because now the people are like, "Yeah, we don't know you. We don't trust you. Uh, we don't think that you get to say what to do with our holy relic, right?" So you're like, you tried the nice approach. And they kind of give you shit, and a couple of them are like, "Yeah, maybe you stay the, the, the hell away from our holy relic, right?" So, uh, who's so, the leader? Huh? Who's the leader? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a name here in just a second. Yeah, because I'm, I'm really strongly just considering, uh, I, with my bar stressed out and things like this, I'm kind of really just and how vicious I am. I'm strongly considering, uh, mm. just ordering someone just to kill them and then ask for another one else to renegotiate, and then we're gonna uh, ask again. Yeah, well, uh, you can order me to take it. I have two discipline. <laughs> it's a, it's an older True. guy by the name of uh, Hanar Wait. He's a, uh, he's an Aldermani gentleman, and it's obvious that he thinks that having lived in the area longer than you, he gets more of a say, and he seems to be like a little bit of like a cantankerous jerk. Uh, so yeah, it's just like. Who the hell do you think you are? Just like this is our stuff. Like we're the ones that are bleeding here to protect it. You're just some jerk faces that showed up. Well, I mean, like he, he would use like vulgar language, right? Right. right. Two like, bit mercenary. Yeah, two bit mercenaries. Just because you have weapons and armor, you think you can bully us around? We stood up to those undead. We're standing up to you too. Boy, uh, I I would definitely yeah. Um, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be react violently. But I would definitely pull a little bit of like, you know, oh, we stood up to undeads. Like, oh yeah, well, you know, we stood up to blighter. 
and they're on the ground. And the one that's how pulled... I was gonna assist you. I was gonna yeah. be like, and I've heard stories that we've that our troops fought with, you know, helped and killed Blighter. Maybe that would, but I don't, I don't know that that would help now. I think they're <laughs> well, it might. It's like, I, I, we'll, we'll see. The dice will tell us if it helps or not. <laughs> Uh, so if you do, do you wanna do you wanna like discipline them? How, how do you wanna how do you wanna handle this? No, I think I'm. I kind of just want to marshal our troops to to be like, uh, to to just take it from them. Oh, just like uh, and be like, hold yeah, them well, back while we grab it. That's nice that you fought them. Now you're trapped, <laughs> right? Good, not a good that did you. Listen, we killed Blighter. We know what's going on, and we know what to do. Uh, we don't have to. We don't. We can't waste any more time. Uh, and I'm going to order uh, our, our recruits to, to seize the, the artifact, I think. All right. Well, I don't uh, know. Real quick, as a player, like, is everyone like not on board with this? Mm. It's like, risky. I mean, we're already in a terrible situation. and It's not helping us, but it's not also very cool. So like, whatever. Sure. <laughs> I think making more enemies here might not be a good idea, but we're also not trying to kill them. Uh, my thing is, uh, big scary lady is real scary. And her uh, not cool like two seconds. As as long as we don't like, <laughs> I think as long as we don't actively try to murder oh. some of these people, we'll be okay. Do they as like? Soon as... Sorry, can you go? I was just saying, like, as as long as we don't like actively try to harm them, I don't think she'll like hurt us either. Yeah, well, it looks like Eric is marshaling people to harm mm. them because he's gonna have to yeah. take this away by force. So mm. there is what there is something you... though. There is a variable I didn't consider yet. The Dar Warrior. That's here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's also the medic. Uh, medic too, yeah. Uh, pulls, we should, yeah. pulls up her slaves and, and sort of like looks at everyone, looks at both you and, you know, the people involved. And uh, uh, she'll say some stern words, uh, you know, essentially, which, which amounts to, uh, yes, now is the time to kill each other because the things coming up that, you know, the side of that cliff are totally going to uh, uh, wait for us to resolve our differences and then, you know, pick whatever's left off the bones. Like, teen uh, biscuits. She... Huh? They're just gonna have us over for teen biscuits. Yeah, clearly. So she's like, maybe perhaps we should get out of here before we decide who gets the quibble over, you know, items. That's true. We could just have one of them carry the relic and just try and, like, be like, okay, come with us now. We're leaving. You we'll can pick hold on to that for now. <laughs> it's up to you. I feel like telling them to bring it and then worrying about who gets to keep it later is our best course of action. Okay. I'd be like, you could come with us and bring it with you, but you better carry your weight when we go to fight. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't think we're going to fight. I think we're going to run the fuck away, or at least that's how I'm hoping. If we have to. Was yeah. right. right. I would say something to the effect of whatever just uh, uh, Ginger Ninja just said. I think I think I'd say something like that. I'd be like, fine. Keep, like, keep the damn relic but you're all coming with us, right? Who wants to, whoever wants to carry it. Like, you can't stay here. All right, so I, I think that that's okay with most of the people there. Um, I don't think there's a role necessary because I don't think this is a, a dangerous situation anymore. You're not trying to take it away from them. Yeah, works for me. We'll do that okay. later. Now, yeah, now we know it's a pushy subject to uh, do that, okay. Or better yet, fucking Alana can take it from them. that would be good. Or not. <laughs> I I would find it funny. <laughs> okay. Um, so now I guess then the next step will be blasting a hole in the wall to get us out of here. Yeah. I think I'm I think that's the, the next step, not the last step, but okay. Uh I think I'm the only one on our team with Rec. Uh I have a dot. Oh, then you should probably uh oh actually, um what's your stress at? Uh I if I take uh, too stressed, I'm dead, because I'm a rookie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm picturing Goat and Pharaoh like, yeah, we got these bombs for you, here you go. Uh, and then we just step back, because we don't know how good they are. Pharaoh, <laughs> what's your stress at? I don't have anything in wreck, but I have three more I can take. Uh, so the the plan was uh, to have either myself, or my, my plan anyways, either myself or the rookie do it. it it's kind of funny if we make the rookie handle dangerous explosives. Um, I've really liked playing Farah up till now. Um, <laughs> so we have the rookie do it and like Farah assist, or I do it and Farah assist, regardless. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, I can take the extra stress so I can assist, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> John is right. Rookies are mostly disposable. I mean, we Excuse try me. so so hard to keep them alive, though. You're very My close to level. I have like three or four rookies I, I that am. are like either soldiers or almost soldiers. Like, come on. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, yeah, like... Uh, I guess it's. I, don't care. I guess my question is, who does Goat tell to set the explosives? Mm. Yep, you are in charge. You get to decide. Go, tell us. Um, and I mean, my first guess would probably be Ram because I'm trusting you with it, but I also would see that you're not in a good spot to do it. No. Um, but also, like you know, Ram will do it if you tell her to. How she is. Also, Farah helped procure it, so she'll help if she has to. I do still have armor left. That's important. Your rookie her. seems to be in good shape. But the rookie is by you far the one that's that in armor? like. <laughs> so it's, I guess, a question of um, whether yeah. or not you put more trust in Ram than you do like the rookie. I don't think it's, about trust. Is I don't no. think it's about, just about trust. I think I'm... it could also be fuck it, it's a rookie. The, I know, but that's that's it's, what it's I'm. What we're talking about. That's here. what I'm saying. I'm saying weighing the trust that he puts in Ram versus expose of like a dispensable rookie type deal, like whether or not this needs to get done or if they didn't red flying. I can't trust. Didn't red flying Lotus disobey me? Yeah. A while back. That was a while back. Uh yeah. Then uh, yeah. Well. You don't get to become a uh, goat without holding grudges. I think I'm going to give it to Red Prime. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. And I'm not going to tell him about the riskiness of the, of the explosives. Nope. 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 All right. Just is, uh, is anyone assisting? I'll assist. Okay. okay. Is this desperate? Uh, yeah, I think it's desperate. You get an XP no matter what. I taught, yeah. I, I mean, if I survive. Stack. <laughs> yeah, I, toss, I toss you the satchel and say, get us out of here. Out of five, you do it, but... You toss the satchel and it blows up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is this standard effect? Uh, yeah, actually, okay. if you place these satchel charges and set them off, it should work. Okay. I believe in you. Um, I... <sighs> Alright, I've got two dice. Devil's Bargain? Just to... Just, just to... I, I don't really have one. Usually it's corruption, but you're not in a fight. Items breaking, also, well, yeah, I can't think of anything that you would have on hand that you'd have to give up in order to make this work, so, good okay. luck. Good luck, Brad, I always liked you. Oh, no! Oh, bad news. Okay. <laughs> so what happens? Uh, well, step one, you die. Step two, there's a cave-in. Step three, there's no real exit out, but you can resist a lot of that. Yeah. Which one do you want to resist, though? They're all so good. Probably you die first. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, no. I'm, I'm not actually. I'm not actually yeah. certain about that. Um. Uh. If I resist there being a cave in, then other people don't die. Is that right? Correct. Am I able to resist there not actually being a way out? Like, I didn't blow the hole, but this I'll could still what. potentially get us out. I'll tell you what. Um, you will be able to resist it to the extent as follows. So remember that resistance rolls are not about saying the fiction didn't happen so much as saying it's not as bad as it looks. So right. what we could say is the cave-in is super localized and that we'll have to dig the path out. There is no path out immediately. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a clock People are going to have to roll some actions to try and clear that path. And if the clock fills up before the path is cleared, there's going to be undead on top of you, but you might have a chance of getting out. Yeah. Great. Uh, that's the most important thing for me off the top is make sure there's a path out for everybody else. If I don't die from taking stress from that, I'll think about the other things to resist afterwards. Okay. Okay. So technically this was a desperate action. Uh... Uh, the reason I said you die is because I figured you were in the middle of, like, rocks fall and y'all die, right? Like, uh, but theoretically, you have level three harm and you are crushed underneath a massive pile of stones. So if people get you out fast enough, you might just be almost, or mostly dead. <laughs> I mean, I can also uh, expend my armor to maybe make that less dead. 
right. Uh, um, there is also a medic here. I don't know what their thing is, but like maybe if we get you out in time. I've got a med kit. Okay, so we're gonna, we're we're gonna start with um. We're gonna start with that instead of there's no way out. It's just currently blocked by an avalanche or a cave-in. Excellent. How are you resisting that? Um. Hmm. Now. I, I feel like this is a foresight issue. It's knowing where the explosion goes, so it would be like an insight resist. That was exactly what I was thinking. Right. Uh, I do get a bonus die for being shrewd. So nice, a, very a, good, very banner. good. So okay, uh, three stress kills me. All right. I but thought there was a five. I had my glasses off. I thought it was a five. I thought you were alive. Nope. No, I'm so sorry. Uh, so red uh, flying lotus dies. Uh, question number two. Do we have well, another I mean, that you can just pick would, up and play? I would say also, there is a heavy and a medic. Are those a viable choice right now? Or just immediate rookie? No, Red Flying Lotus dies. No, that's what no, I no, meant. No. Like, uh, ah, she was saying mission. for me to step into the position oh. of, instead of picking up one of the rookies, become uh, the doctor or the new heavy. Cute. Um... <laughs> That's interesting. It's a good suggestion. I like it, Alice. The rules <laughs> generally don't allow for it, but I feel like fictionally that's plausible. Yeah, sure. Did you do want to play? Sweet. Um, I think the heavy is going to be more interesting because a, uh, she's of this uh, un uh, unrepresented race, and uh, b, uh, she could probably help us maybe dig out our way out of here. You make good points. Sadly. All right. I mean, the doctor uh, is also good, but I think, yeah. Uh, so it, you're going to get a heavy, and because of where you are on the map, uh, they're going to come with two additional ability points. So make a standard heavy sheet, and then you just get two extra dots to put wherever you want. Uh, I need a blank sheet. Uh, cool. I will make you one right now. Awesome. So... so fear like maybe it was better that you died you know, <laughs> full stress heavy well, uh morale penalty will still kick in and you could kill the heavy oh 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 for sure for sure but like the heavy could have died due to like complications to other roles potentially too so like you know they are at least a... at least we have more direct control be that good or bad uh Kelsa, just for your information, it should be at the very, very, very top. And I we'll got it. move it later to put it where it's supposed to go. Thank you. All right. Uh, so, everybody else, you hear a thunderous sound. There is the backwash of dust. The whole cave starts shaking. Um, rocks are falling from the cave because the cave has become unstable. Uh, what do folks want to do? Uh, I have a suggestion, but I can't do it. I mean... We gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, I meant uh, so you you're the officer. You can tell us that. Have like the, I mean, uh, just marshal all of us. Try and clear it. Like Farah was going. Can I do something? Even though I'm a rookie. Yeah. yeah. No, you're not uh, a rookie. Uh, my just died. So I'm going right in after and just checking as I'm like digging through and see the body. Okay. Uh, she'll grab an effect off of red for later. And uh, okay. put it in her bag, and just you see her like just like she was prim and proper a second ago because she's all right nobility, and she doesn't dig holes because she's not a peasant. Uh, but now she's just like elbow deep in dirt, just trying to get through this hole. Uh, Unless goat yells at me. <laughs> all no, right. I, I'm, I'm not yelling. So step one, I'm gonna make a quick clock, uh, and it's gonna be a representation of. Uh, Essentially, the, the bad guy is working through to you folks before you can escape. Uh, but I will point out that the whole place is very unstable at this point. Uh, that was one of the consequences of the failed role. And uh, there's a lot of four to fives may involve people being in bad situations. This is essentially like a bad mine shaft right now, and you folks need to get out. And I don't think you have like an expert miner. Does anybody have a, a whole lot of rig there? Uh, no. Tinker, I guess it might be on your sheets because that was the uh, old. Yeah. Nope. My only, my only plausible plan is just like for Goat to command both the rookies and the peasants to like just do it as quickly as possible. I just marshal us 
like yeah. marshal them and just hope. Right. Um, I was thinking that, but now the reason why I'm being quiet is also because I've just been making more consecutive roles here and I didn't want to take up too much of the space, right? Sure. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I would definitely be in a position to just marshal everyone to get this. Uh, I don't. If you yell at Farrah to keep digging. I have discipline. You that doesn't matter super much. Well, actually, it or might because she might be able to discipline people into doing stuff. Ah, uh, I see. Like, like, if he's if yelling, felt... dig. She's already doing it. She might like, you know, like Red's already dead. Let's just get through. You know what I mean? Like she right. might be able to because I can also handle the stress. Sure. So, like you were right. saying, the dis- okay, I misunderstood why you were saying you have discipline. Never mind. Cool. <laughs> that's an uh, that's an interesting point, though. But um, I'm in a pretty good spot to marshal. I mean, I couldn't resist any consequences. But I mean, I do. I am rolling three dice. If I marshal you, plus but if you just dis- but, but if you let, allow yourself to be disciplined, then you. Get, but like, it's kind of like looking at rolling from two sides of the same coin, and um, both of them sound good. But uh, the, I just want to put that out there. Uh, Fair you said you have two stress left. Yep, I'm. You can go all the way to all the way to yes. the end, and then you. So I have two left, and I have yeah. Uh, so, uh, I'm like you could marshal, and then Farrah could assist with a disciplinary action, right? Like that, like that's a pl- like that's a possibility with four dice. Um. That's really the only like that's the that's the main thing I see. I think that's the plan with the best chance of success. That's really what you want to do. Uh, I mean, if I just roll discipline, it's just to see how well the rookies and I dig out, right? Uh, uh sure. Yeah, I. But that, like, that sounds like a possible thing. It's like. But also, then no one has to take any stress, and it's just either it either works or it doesn't. It's, well. There, there are consequences on every yeah, roll. Yeah, you, you could fail. fail. My point was, like, there's no consequences from them failing the roll on top of the actual consequence, like the correct stress and the fail. I mean, the, not- uh, one stress at this point won't make the difference if you only have two left. Uh, like most, or we get out immediately and we all run. I, well, that's what I mean. So the marshal yeah. would do the same exact thing, but with a better chance of success. It's up to you guys. Um, go, I don't care anymore. Do you want to mark <laughs> Feyre, do you just like take charge and tell the rookies what to do? No, she'll listen to Goat. All right, Goat, you want to marshal them? I do like to. I would like to marshal. Throw some bones. Let's see how it goes. All right. Um, position, risky, control. Yeah. Um, That's what I mean. I don't know. Yeah, I feel I, it's I risky. Both ways. But I have to warn you. I'm just putting this straight up so that you're not shocked. There's probably yeah. going to be two consequences, right? Like one of the consequences is this is an unstable tunnel. So like yeah. people may get damaged or die. And then the other consequence is, of course, uh, time. So both may happen. I'm just giving you Which the heads up. Which so leads to I don't... <laughs> damage or death as well. I understand. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, thank goodness you got me rolling three dice. Uh, that can't be bad. Someone has All to right. succeed eventually. That will be you. I got it. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I keep I keep not being right. Uh, good job. So, uh, wow. this is desperate, and uh, of course, uh, I think this is this is. I'm sorry, I did say this. So, in a risky situation yeah. with rocks falling on rookies, two of the rookies die, yeah. and the clock's going to advance because it's going to take time to do all the things that you're doing. Yeah. Well, does anybody want to step up and take that harm, or are we good? Uh, I was going to. I'm still in the middle of making this character, though. So, uh, um, but I, oh. I should be able to. I, I definitely believe that she's got. Um, I have very good. If Go- hey, if Goat survives this, though, if Goat survives this, uh, backup. That's what it's called. A lot of XP. Uh, when you protect a squad mate, yeah. you resist with plus one die. When you assist someone. It pushes only cost I was, stress. I was about to ask if you're going the backup heavy. That's really uh, good. Yeah, definitely. That was going to be my next. Yep. Thank uh, you. Bulwark also allows you to protect squads that you are fighting or uh, like in the, commanding. Uh, and I don't. I also. Like, so she gets uh, one for at start and then two more, right? No. Uh, I, she starts with. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to get 
uh, because of like where you are on the map, you're gonna get one. Uh, you only get one special ability. Okay. But you're gonna get uh, two additional dots, like actions. Oh, ah, okay, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Well, backup is definitely, like, she was working as a bodyguard. This is the uh, ability that she would have. Yep, that makes sense. It's um, a really good ability, too. Yeah. Uh, and so can I bring those dots up to three now? So she can have yeah. three skirmish. Okay. Yep. Uh, so she's got three skirmish and uh, three anchor. All right, Red. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. Uh, All right. It's only so. two. Before we continue, two rookies die, time goes on the clock. Is this fictionally appropriate? Everyone agrees to this? Uh, I wanted to resist. Oh, okay. How do you resist? Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm picturing that uh, she's been, like, side by side digging with these people. And then all of a sudden, like, she hears something that they don't. There's, like a single pebble that falls or whatever that she notices and then she just like like throws the the rookies out of the way grab them by the collar and just yeah and then like just huge rock smashes down to where they used to be all right awesome. uh, uh i i can i can offer you one interesting detail sure so one of the heritages that the dark can have is a uh, night seer which allows them to see in pitch blackness uh, so you can actually see a thing that nobody else could in that scenario. Uh, uh yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I love it. Heritages. Excellent. Since, right. since I don't know what the, the dark heritages are, I Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in. Uh, that's a sweet one, and I totally love it. So this feels like it's insight then, and I get an extra die. Ooh, dar snipers. Anyways, uh, continue. Crit. Uh, nice. Well, you don't have any stress, but uh, uh, I think this is just one of those. Okay, so you don't have any stress, and you can't clear stress, and you're resisting rookies dying. Um, so I'll tell you what. Um, what it sounds like is that you're protecting them. Sure. Uh, so you're gonna uh, you're gonna have a choice here. Uh, you're gonna get one rookie out of the way, and one's gonna get squished, or because you're reducing the effect, right? Like right, you're not right. canceling it. Or you can get both of them out of the way, but I'm going to throw some harm at you. Uh, I, I don't want anyone to die. How much harm am I looking at? Uh, it would be a little too harm. That's... Because it, is a, it was a risky position. Okay. Uh, and then... Do I have armor? Yeah. She You're heavy. heavy. I yeah, mean... <laughs> She was described as having this, like, pitch black armor with, like, a high collar, like, high metal collar and stuff. What was our, uh, right. what was our morale at? I do not know. That's a Marshall question. Our mar uh, cool. it was, it was, a, it was maxed out, I think. Yeah. Before we went yeah, it was mission. a 10. Her morale is 10. I keep it as a list inside uh, Goat's character, if anyone ever wants to see it. All right, I'm going to take level one Harma banged up and spend uh, when he's armor. All right, Red, you're clean. Uh, Great. and, uh, that's, that's, that's that. You save those people, but the time advances and it's going to take you time to re-clear the, the, the way out. No, no progress is made, I imagine? Not much. Uh, okay. you make a little bit of progress, but some of it fills in from the cave-in and some of it is just, it takes you guys, like, a bit to, like, wait for the dust to settle so you can breathe where you're digging. That kind right, of thing. Right, right. Uh, and at this point, the rocks are unstable, so now it's going to be desperate. Um, can I uh, use use Bullock to to like just punch through these this like it's unstable, but we can see light through it. Can I just like just like punch that keystone rock out of the way, and uh, and then it tumbles out to either side, and we can get Angry. through. Like using anchor for it? Yeah, can I do that? Is that a thing? Uh, not usually. Uh, what technically, what you're describing is a wreck action. Okay. Uh, anchor is okay. used for. I, I can do wreck then. People at once. She could. Yeah. Okay. She could. She. Uh. She does have wreck. Like I do anchor indeed. the wreck. <laughs> Just be an actual one girl wrecking yeah. crew. So yeah, I use anchor to be able to be more superhuman strength abilities, and then just wreck with armored fist. 
Um, okay. So, okay. I see what you're saying is, is you're spending your anchor to try and, and act at scale, like just try and like rip things out. I have um, fine wrecking tools to give you. Uh, all right. So you would have fine wrecking tools, which gives you a level of quality and you're trying to do this at scale. And, um, you know what, if you push yourself for effect, uh, I'll, I'll say, yeah, this is the thing you could do. Absolutely. Okay. Let's, uh, and I'm also going to uh, push myself for uh, an additional die as well. Oh dang! I oh dang! How the hell did I realize you can never double push? Your, you can double push yourself. Uh, How did I not know that? It's that's amazing. I may have been really expensive though. It really is because that's four four stress. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. All right, yeah. but Let's I think this is the kind of situation where it's it's kind of uh, kind of necessary. Is this still desperate? Um, or is it risky? I guess it was risky before, so. Yeah, I, I think it is because the rocks are unstable. I can't, I, I can't see it as anything else. Fair yeah, it's is basically like taking damage and rocks falling on you, right? Yeah. You might be able to succeed, but just like get crushed or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It makes sense. Uh, All right. Um, no assist. Anyone? I, I ram and I can't, or not ram, I go and I can't, so I was just curious. the only person that might be able to. That's fair, yeah. yeah. Or fair, I should say. Yeah. Uh, I think after Pharaoh's pushed out of the way, she's just sitting there waiting to get back in. Uh, so do you wanna, do you wanna try and do this with the heavy, or do you wanna help her in some way? If not, it's up to you. I was gonna do a separate push. She's still, she's still angry from trying to help and her friend dying. <laughs> As okay. a fellow rookie. All right. Uh, uh, if you'd rather me do an assist, that's fine. Uh, it's up to you. If she succeeds this, we might actually just be out right now. Mm -hmm. That's why I ask. Yep, go ahead then. So you're going to spend that stress? All right, let's go. Six She's amazing. Hey! I love her so much. Uh, you get one tick of XP in your prowess section. Thank you. Bear in mind, this is desperate. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but you managed to actually punch all the way through and not die in the process. Did you? <laughs> nice. You do uh, have wrecking tools, so maybe it's hammer your way through, but whatever. Now, I like, <laughs> I very carefully, like, set up all these pinstons, and the very last oh, thing I is see. I just punch. I see. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> just, just place uh, them and then just... <sighs> I have a, I have a friend... Uh, there's, a, there's a person I know who plays a dread by, by flicking the... the Jenga blocks and they actually go popping out the others. Yeah, exactly. And that's, <laughs> I make, and that's what I'm imagining you doing right now. Yes, it's exactly like that. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, cool. That right. also sounds like it would hurt my finger. <laughs> uh, it definitely isn't a pleasant sensation throwing yourself at rocks over and over again, but yeah, you, you use everything you got. You push, you double push. And uh, it's enough. Like with the, with the roar, there's a opening on the other side in the the, the back side of this cave system, and uh, you roll a six, so I don't have to have an army come up your back end here. But All by right. the way, I think the I love her was in character. Like that was like <laughs> flat out like just saying that, watching her do this, it's just mm -hmm. uh, solemn it's nods. Very impressive. Uh, so between Thera and and uh, Akara. Er, yeah, a car, I think. Uh, you you managed to, to punch it back way out. So uh, here's the good news. You guys can get all the refugees to come out. You can grab all your stuff. You can start heading down the mountainside. Uh, but uh, the undead are eventually going to break into the temple. Uh, they're going to ransack it. And the majority of their troops are actually very slow. So they have zero chance of catching up to you. Uh, however... Nice. Uh, there are two units that Render has that are extremely mobile. One of them is a mounted cavalry, which you've seen, and the other one of which is, uh, uh, I, I believe you call them growlers. Uh, they're they're pointy teethed people with uh, like chains stretching their 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 skin, and they're usually like held on chains like leashes, and they've they've got their eyes uh, sewn shut, and so uh, uh, they can track uh, the living, and so. Um, Basically, 
you guys get a significant head start, right? Like, because they still, like, have a half hour of breaking stone and, like, clambering up into the temple area, finding which way you guys escaped, and then, like, trying to get horses and stuff around the backside to come down after you. So you folks are, like, halfway down the mountain and booking it GTFO style, like, trying to get away. Uh, but uh, there is a cavalry unit and some hounds, and, and you hear that, like, the the the, the kind of the howling as as the, the growlers are chasing you guys and uh yeah so uh <clears throat> who has the highest scout rating here just out of curiosity two I, oh damn mine's at one yeah. um fair what's yours oh. uh cool well you spot them first uh bodyguard lady and mm -hmm. uh farah you 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 see them come in next largely because farah you were on a mission where this happened before, right? Like where the cavalrymen and the, the, the hounds were coming for you. So uh, <clears throat> you guys know that they're going to be on you before you can reach the end. Uh, do you guys have a plan? Uh, do you want to try and like lose them by like trying to use terrain to your advantage? Do you want to set up a position and fight them? How do you want to deal with this? Because there is no way to simply just like outwalk mounted cavalry. How many people or things total? Uh, it's a single unit, so you're looking at about six people on horseback, and uh, maybe four or so of the the, the growlers. Uh, are there any like rocks or like places a little higher? So once they start coming down the hill towards her, she has a good shot. Uh, give me a scout roll. Uh, it's just to gather information check, so there's no risk. No. So controlled. Is there any southern gorge of water we could use near the <laughs> Elven borderlands? Wash them down? No? Uh, no. That's, no. That's, that's what these things are for, right? Like, we, we roll this to find out, because I don't know the answer. Yeah. And so you guys tell me what you spot. Uh, so yeah, so uh, here's the good news. Uh, yeah, there is, a, there is a position that you could shoot from. Uh, here's the bad news. And yes, there might even be some, like, a, a waterway nearby, like a um like a like a fast running mountain stream maybe mm -hmm. sounds appropriate uh but there is a uh here, here's the bad news you have to kind of clamber up there it's not like really easy to get to and even when you do clamber up there uh it's going to give you an excellent perch and shooting advantage but it's not going to be like if your friends move ahead you're not going to be able to like rejoin them okay that makes sense. Hmm. Uh, but they have the relic, don't they? No, we have the relic. Have the relics with you. Okay. Oh, then I mean. Some of the uh, some of the locals are carrying it as per your agreement. We need to see if we can set a trap for them. There's too many innocents here to try to fight it's, them outright. It, it's not okay for some of the innocents to die for everyone else to live. That's that's off the table. I mean, that's very on the table. Technically, you're an officer and you're in charge. Yeah. Although, yeah. this uh, this heavy is uh, is it's not under your command. Just saying. Yeah. No. Um, well, I wouldn't be vicious if I didn't suggest that. <laughs> be like. <laughs> so what does that look like? Are you just like? We'll use them as bait. <laughs> Um, no, I'd be just, I'd just be very cold about it. Um, I would, I would definitely say something like, they knew the risks and it means that everyone else can survive. We barely got out of that. I'd like to remind everyone that we barely got out of this fort. Uh, all right. So what's, what's the plan officer that you're suggesting to everybody? I mean, I'm, I'm cool with just letting those, uh, stragglers die so we can get out of here. Cool. So give me, give me, tell me a little bit of a story. Like, are you just removing yourself from them and you're going to shoot the troops as they charge in? Are you like pulling ahead of them and forcing the troops to go through them? Like, what's the what's the plan? Like, what's the situation? 
yeah i mean we're gonna so like the problem is that we'd be shooting into like our own troops too then right is that that is that the thing like, or is uh, no, that the problem you, you can you can command your rookies and your soldier um and stuff to come with you and then there's like maybe 20 or so untrained individuals without heavy armor that are coming with you right so like you can shoot like over them around them through them whatever um but like if you're if you're saying that you're willing to let them die that's fine but what are you doing are you guys like forming up into like a wedge formation and trying to force them to come through you are you removing yourself out of the way and letting them be bait like what is the plan like I, right I no uh, yeah, yeah 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 I'm gonna buy him time. You know what? No, I'm not gonna be vicious. You know what? I'm changing my mind, Josh. No problem. I think, I think I'm gonna. I'm thinking I'm gonna change my mind. I think I'm gonna ask for volunteers to come join uh, Goat. We're gonna hold the line to get everyone else away. Okay. I'm. And, uh, I'm just gonna say I'm holding. To step I'm up. Say, I'm, hold, I'm holding the line. Um. Um. We're not gonna make like like but like very like coldly is like we're not gonna make it in time. I'm. Gonna, I'm. Like not unless someone. Uh, not unless we step up and and get more time. You, you see here and i'm out of channels oh wow <laughs> oh, well i did a i did a fortune roll uh so like and i rolled two sixes uh right. so i guess goat's pretty compelling so i think some of the people that were giving you shit about trying to take the relic away and everything is are just like well we were willing to die up there so you know it would be shitty of us to not be willing to do the same out here oh. uh i think that akara goes to the doctor that she's been protecting and like hand on her shoulder and is like go make sure the relic does not fall into the wrong hands I'll give you the time you need Oh, I love heavies telling people to go do stuff while they have a famous last stand uh, but uh -huh. so if, I, if I could justify it in any way I would say Ram leaves but she can't she physically can't like there's just no way in fucking hell it happens um, <laughs> that sounds it would be the first easy. it like like a goat orders you to leave and like, it'd be the first time you disappear. No, like Fer like Farrah said that you. she was the first. I I would like Ram has to be just because it's right. goat asking. Right. Well you both step up, but I tell yeah. I say I say to goat that no, you need to lead everyone out of here. Ram. Or sorry, oh. yeah, I, I, you are goat. Tells Ram. Oh, I know. Shit. That right. does make it difficult actually. Yeah. Can I get a roll out of you for that? Oh, like a discipline? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I'm disciplining you. Yeah, that's fair. It's it's like she definitely says that. Or or Marshall. Marshall. Oh yeah. I, well, if I wouldn't have been Marshall, I would have rolled Marshall. I'm, I'm like you can. I don't really like. I yeah. If you if whichever one you feel like rolling. Because I would be ordering you. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. I guess it would be discipline. Yeah, no, it would have been discipline then. No, it depends. No, like, marshalling is telling someone under you to do something. So, like, uh, Mar okay. Marshall... Yeah, so Look at Jin, correct. go with the rolls. <laughs> See, there you right, go. Well, I got a six with the Marshall. Yeah. And, yeah, so, like, I would have been... Yeah. I'm, I'm okay just taking the Marshall. I mean, yeah, I yeah. think, like... Okay, I have I have what happens. So... We put our foreheads we, together, right? Uh, like, I was, I was actually... I have, I have a good, I have a perfect thing. Uh, okay. so, Ram's a good bit taller than you, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, like a good bit taller than most people. For but sure. like you say who has volunteers, Farah and Ram step forward simultaneously. Um, you like pat Farah on the back and then look at Ram and be like, no, you have to lead them out of here. And she yeah. immediately starts to back talk you. And what do you say, I guess, that convinces her? Okay, I know what I say, and I I look at you uh, very uh, intently uh, into your eyes, and I say, um, "We both can't go. Someone's got to lead. They got. There's got to be a leader, and everyone here looks up to you. Lead them out of here." Um. So. She like, do you like, she I, like can't, I can't take both of you and I'm not letting this shit for brains leave the company. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, you know, she like puts her forehead against yours, um, says like, if you die, I swear to you, I'm dragging your soul out of the fucking maw itself. 
Uh, it's my, yeah. And then she kisses you on the yeah. forehead and then turns yeah. around and walks away. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, it's like it's very, I very it's gentle turn. too. Yeah. And then like, I, I, I mutter under my breath, my breath and like, I guess it's my turn to be, to pull a goat. <laughs> And just come back from camp the day. Ram. The ram. Yeah. yeah. Or ram, yeah. I keep messing up. Fuck. It's so good. Gotta, gotta walk yeah. back to camp two days later. Yeah. Fuck All naked. Right. Just for <laughs> no reason. So we see uh, you know, the, the rank tackle remnants of the Legion, uh, the Dar Heavy, and uh, you know, the, the soldier yeah. that is the the at the head yeah. of the squad yeah. staying behind and everybody departing, and it's time. Yeah. Yep, that's a I good. Plant, I plant the banner. In the really good time go. for a break. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me get us on over.